What's up guys? It's me Tim here and I'm back with another custom Lego Star Wars Episode 9 set review. And this is based off of a scene I was describing actually in the live stream where I was building it. And this is Luke's Jedi um, Ada class um, interceptor or whatever. So in my Episode 9, him and Leia and Lando, they go to Coruscant and they need to activate a basically like the 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 what is it the starlight beacon from the high republic um that's situated in the jedi temple in the main spire and um i took the story from the finn and rose uh side plot from duel of the fates and while they're on coruscant they um obviously we see that luke snags a republic jedi interceptor <laughs> But also they fight the Knights of Ren, and um, as I referenced in my uh, Night Buzzard custom Lego set review. And Luke flies during the Battle of Exegol, he flies um, this Jedi Interceptor, so he's not just sitting around doing nothing. And he's not impacting the main character story, Rey. Um, he's not stealing away her story by defeating the uh, Palpatine himself. But So he's flying around with R2. And it's supposed to like be a homage to Anakin. We have Luke now flying a Jedi Interceptor with R2. Whereas, you know, during the prequels we saw Anakin and R2 flying. But so, um, yeah. I go a bit more in depth in the live stream. Um, but so here's the, just the Interceptor. As you can see the main colors are white and blue. With the blues being dark blue and also sand blue. And there's some gray. And um, here on the bottom, you can see actually I got some landing gear, which actually fold. You can either, you know, ratchet fold them or you can just slide them over. You can see R2's legs. And you can see this um, panel is actually just two of the small panels. It's mainly because I couldn't find my, I couldn't find the other one of this panel. But also it kind of works out because this doesn't work with R2's feet. They get in the way. So, yeah, I guess maybe this has been kind of scavenged a bit. But the top ones do open. And the bottom one on this side does open, and you can open this one. It's just a smaller deflector shield, that's all. Or not deflector shield, um, you know, solar panel thing. But you can see there's the open fleet emblem there and there. And this perfect Jedi Interceptor cockpit piece. This is a bit bigger than minifigure scale. Um, but it's as big as I could get it with R2 being able to fit in. Because obviously one of the normal play features is that you can put R2 inside the wing. And it's just normal R2. His head is actually rotated so he can see, yeah. But, yeah. And then it's on ratchet joints, so it's at a slight angle. There's the cannons in the front. There's two stud shooters on either side, which are easily removable if you really don't like them. There's the engines in the back. And, yeah, there's some, like, sprinkles of, like, sand, uh, of tan. And instead of some colors. And there's also, like, dark gray here and then light gray here. Just to show its age. You can see actually in the back there's Luke's lightsaber being stored there and there. And this is just like a foot for whenever this is up. But yeah. Um, for the cockpit you can, it hinges open. And you can fit Luke inside. You can see actually there's the control co console from the 2014 Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. And actually I got it at an angle where it still fits inside the cockpit piece so it is facing a bit more forward instead of being just flat. Uh, obviously there's the front little window. Here's the nice looking seat. It's got a very high rest. And then there's the inside of the cockpit. There's not much space for storage. That's why it is on the, the lightsaber is hanging on the back. But I meant to put spring loaded shoes in here too. I just couldn't fit them in. Uh, and I, it was kind of like a last minute thing whenever I realized I forgot them. And here's Luke's Jedi robes and, and his Jedi robes. Actually, this is not the hair I'm wanting to use for him. I was wanting to use this hair piece. Here we are. He's got the Han Solo hair piece in tan. I recently got this. Um, he's got Luminara's cape from the Turbo Tank set. You know, the super smooth cape. Um, and then he's got, I believe that is um, Eve Koth's torso. Um, you know. And then also the legs are from um, Adi Gallia. And then, she, you know, he's got the lightsaber. He's got normal Luke's hair. Or normal Luke's face. Sequel trilogy Luke's face. And yeah, like most Interceptor sets, it only comes with the pilot and the droid. But yeah, this would be a neat little $20 set, I think. Um, I got a lot of new sets lately. 
uh, mainly Clone Wars oriented sets. Um, and I'm thinking I, I might review some of them, but for the most part I think I'm just going to be, um, you know, upgrading them, uh, adding my own little touch to them. And you can kind of see what one of them is, maybe, if you're paying attention, but, um, you know, it's not necessarily right in your face, it's kind of in the, it's kind of somewhere in, in, in the shot, but, yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see y'all later. Bye.